Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The Supreme Court leak has some Americans worried that abortion rights are just the beginning. Here is what could come next analysis by North America correspondent Carrington Clark and Joanna Robin in Washington, D.C. Space to play or pause, M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. After half a century, a right many Americans believed was a short look set to be reversed. And others could follow. A leaked draft opinion from the Supreme Court, published by Politico, shows justices are poised to defy precedent and public opinion to overturn the landmark 1973 decision enshrining access to abortion, Roe v. Wade. If a post-Roe America becomes a reality, as many believe it will, the right to privacy implied by the ruling will likely go with it. That would pave the way for other important protections to potentially be wound back. The right to access contraception, for example, or the right to marry someone of the same sex or a different race may also become vulnerable. President Joe Biden was careful to use caveats when he labeled the draft opinion, which could still be softened or abandoned, a radical decision. The idea that concerns me a great deal is that we're re going to, after 50 years, decide a woman does not have a right to choose within the limits of the Supreme Court decision he told reporters. But even more equally as profound is the rationale used. And it would mean that every other decision relating to the notion of privacy is thrown into question. The 98-page leaked document, written by Justice Samuel Alito, is an unequivocal rebuke of Roe v. Wade and its 1992 successor Planned Parenthood v. Casey. Opponents of abortion access have celebrated the possibility of a post-Roe America. But for those who support access to the procedure, it echoes a frightening era of underground abortion networks and botched backyard surgeries. And for others, it foreshadows a future where millions of people's lives are altered by a conservative supermajority on the highest court in the land. Roe v. Wade and the implied right to privacy It is not unusual for the first draft of a Supreme Court decision to go through several rounds of editing before being made public. But Justice Alito's wording throughout the sprawling text is unusually aggressive. His writing is peppered with attacks on the reasoning of his 1970s predecessors, labeling their decision egregiously wrong, and their arguments exceptionally weak. It is, however, narrowly focused on reproductive rights. Nothing in this opinion should be understood to cast doubt on precedents that do not concern abortion, he writes. But several legal scholars say that despite Justice Alito's qualifications, his reasoning could easily be applied to a range of other hard-won rights. Roe v. Wade is built on an implied constitutional right to privacy. Justice Alito's draft seems to argue for a more literal and less liberal interpretation. He says if a right is not spelled out in black and white, such as the right to bear arms or freedom of the press, then it is only implied when deeply rooted in this nation's history and tradition. He also says abortion doesn't meet that standard because it was entirely unknown in American law until the latter part of the 20th century. Neither do multiple other implied rights, the privacy to access contraception, or to have sex with or marry whoever you chose, no matter what race or gender they might be. According to Justice Alito, abortion rights fundamentally differ from other previous rulings that involve intimate sexual relations, contraception and marriage. But given his proposed judgment shreds the logic those decisions were based on, it is likely that concept will be tested in court in the future. What other rights could be on the table? The source of America's right to privacy comes from a rule that bans the U.S. government from quartering soldiers in private houses without the consent of the homeowner. Legal scholars have argued that America's founding document recognizes that every citizen is entitled to a life that is beyond the reach of the government. The Supreme Court has slowly extended the concept of what basic rights fall under this umbrella for decades. Up until 1965, local laws could stop people from accessing contraception. Then the court quashed a law prohibiting contraceptive drugs and devices, in part because it determined citizens had a right to privacy. Until the late 1960s, in some parts of America, 
Members of different races COULD and T get married. It was only after the court struck down a law in Virginia banning interbreeding that this freedom was ensured. Gay sex remained illegal in some places until 2003 when the court found Texas sodomy laws to be unconstitutional. Then, in 2015, a landmark case saw same-sex marriage legalized in all 50 states. At the heart of that decision? The right to personal privacy. The uncertain path ahead if Justice Alito is vision.